Hey, what's going on, guys? Jason Lohr here with Jason Lohr Photography and Films, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast series, uh, Real Talks with Filmmakers. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about the genre comedy. So the last episode, we were talking about the genre drama. So we're going to move into something a little more, um, more funny, but at the same time, not so funny because... To me, as a filmmaker, it's like one of the hardest genres to write. There's some writers out there who can write it naturally or film it naturally or understand it naturally, mainly because, you know, it's a, a type of genre that's their life. So um, as far as like writing it goes, it's not something you can just make up. It's something that you truly have to experience in life. I learned that when I went from you know, working at the farmer's market and, you know, really being like, you know, super polite and, you know, also like just, you know, being around a lot of uh, mature people. So not much jokes going around. I mean, we'll tell like some really, uh, I mean, not jokes, but like, we'll talk about some stories that, you know, sound pretty funny that we laugh about it. But then it's like, when I tried to write comedy when I was, you know, a lot younger, and again, not being in that kind of circle of like just jokes, laughter, and all that, you know, as much as like my friends and family has, I didn't really know too much about it. And you know, it's like when I left college, I mean, sorry, left home to go to college. You know, and I'm like just now in a whole different like circle of friends to where a lot of people clown each other, talk smack about each other or, you know, part of my friends, but, you know, talk shit about each other. I came to think like, wow, that's kind of offensive. It's like, why the heck are they talking like that to each other? But I do remember just how hard everybody in our friend circle were laughing about it. Like, just, you know, um, they sound like insults, but then at the same time, everybody was laughing about it. Even the people that were getting the jokes thrown at them were laughing about it. And so, you know, I came to realize this is what comedy is. And, you know, it's just telling, like, some silly, stupid, and offensive jokes amongst each other, towards each other, about each other. And I'm not going to lie, it's like, it was like my guilty pleasure at that time too because, you know, I was laughing about it. But in the end, I came to realize, you know, we're all friends. We know it's just a joke. And we know, like, a lot of uh, the people in our groups are just class clowns or just comedians, if you will. And we know that it's just all for laughs, you know, kicks and giggles and all that jazz. So, you know, that's why I really enjoyed it because, you know, especially during that time in college, you know, it's like it's just really stressful because you have exams, essays, presentations to prepare for. And, you know, it's just those nights of like being able to be with friends and a group of people to be just really silly, stupid, and just having a fun time, you know, cracking jokes on each other's. So that experience with, you know, people like that really gave me a more um, insight on, you know, on comedy. In fact, it's interesting too, you know, when I was in college, I actually took a comedy class and you know, to me, like, I was kind of interested in it because, you know, I wanted to understand a little bit more about comedy. And it was just, you know, fascinating, like, just discovering and, un, uh, you know, what's, what's the word called? Uh, unveiling, like, what comedy is all about. And believe it or not, you know, it's actually very important because it it makes you do the one thing that's the most healthiest in a human being and that is laughing laughing is very healthy because again when you go through so much stress in life whether it be with work school or relationships you know family friends you know when you find something that makes you laugh or makes you happy which is usually through laughter 
it just really makes you feel better. Of course, don't be laughing at something that, you know, is, you know, something that's bad that happened to somebody. That's just diabolical. But, you know, laughing over a comedy, you know, a performance, if you will. And, you know, that's the one thing that made me really glad that I took that class was just learning the importance of why human beings have to laugh. And, you know, that goes so well with filmmaking because, you know, all these comedy films, whether it be the most silliest, the stupidest, and the most craziest stories, if it can make you laugh even for just a second or, you know, the whole entire movie, then you know, you're going to be living a very happy life because you know what, as a human being, if you're able to laugh, that means you're able to experience happiness. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I really want to, you know, write more comedy is because, you know, I grew up loving so many comedies. Uh, One of, one of them was like dodgeball, balls of fury, of course, the American Dad and Family Guy, um, you know, shows. I mean, those are just to name a few. I have a lot of lists. I mean, that's a story for another time. But it was just the ones that really, you know, took me out of reality for a bit and just learned how to be a kid again. Because that's the thing is, like, when you grow up, majority of us as kids, I mean, for me anyway, is too, I grew up watching movies, shows, cartoons, and what have you, just the most silliest things that really made me laugh a lot and just made me happy. And so, um, you know, that's just uh, something that I really find fascinating about comedy. Now, (laughs) shoot, sorry, uh, it's kind of you know, it's kind of nourishing going into this part of, um, you know, comedy. But here comes the reason why it's such a hard, uh, hard genre to write. And that is because this, especially this day and age, like there's a lot of sensitivity in the world right now. And a lot of that has to do with like, oh, those are so offensive jokes. It's like, I don't want my kids hearing it. I don't want to, you know, have that be used on me, my kids, my family, and what have you. But my thing is, like, if it's very offensive, why are you watching it? Why are your kids watching it? Or better yet, how in the world are any of you guys able to watch these? You know what I mean? It's like it always blew my mind about how parents complain about, you know, kids, you know, watching these films. It's like the filmmakers we're not telling your kids to go watch it. I mean, that's why there's a rating system for it. And for mature, or I'm sorry, (laughs) now I'm going with uh, video game uh, ratings. No, no, R, rated R is, you know, basically for maturity, violence, language, sex, and all that. You know, PG-13 is a little less than that. And then, of course, you have PG and then G. So understand the rating system. And also understand that there's a reason why they are put in place. So that way it lets, you know, the adults, you know, the parents know that, okay, this is definitely something that my kids shouldn't be watching. But yeah, of course, with this day and age of technology, they're going to find ways of watching it. They're probably watching it right now as you're watching this YouTube video of me talking about comedy. So, um, <laughs> I mean, there's no, uh, no doubting that. And, you know, again, you know, with comedy, you have to understand there's going to be a lot of jokes that are going to be probably silly, stupid, inappropriate. And when you understand that, you'll understand that, okay, this is not the type of comedy I want to watch or I want my family to be exposed to or my friends to be exposed to if you want to go that far. But, you know, you shouldn't go around saying that, oh, this was terrible because you didn't like it. You know, you want to say, like, you know what, it just probably wasn't for me. Jokes were kind of offensive, and, you know, I mean, you can go watch it and see what you think. That's the best way of approaching anything, whether it be, you know, jokes, comedians, um, 
you know, films and all that. That's probably the best way of going at it. But, you know, like I said, when you have a lot of critics out there, you know, for their own personal, you know, appearance, I'm sorry, personal opinions and all that, it can ruin a movie or a series, you know, expectations of like what to expect when they watch this film. So just keep that in mind. I mean, like I said, it's it's a really tough um you know, time for comedy. And I think like, that's something that if you're going to tread on, you just want to make sure that you're prepared for the challenges. I mean, again, this is a very important genre. A lot of people may not think it, but, you know, it truly is to me. Because, you know, we need to laugh, we need to be able to detach from like that stressful uh, environment that we work at, or that we're around at, whether it be school, home, uh, work, you know, it's just an escape to being happy again or being that kid again. So here's a comedy that just really brings out that kid in all of us again.